what is going on guys today we're going to be playing time machine the actual game so i played the demo a while back and a lot of people seem to like it so i went out and actually bought the actual time machine game and it is good to be back in vr i haven't been in uh, a vr game in several weeks uh, if you haven't noticed from my channel because stuff has just been busy but anyway we are going to be playing time machine and we're actually going to get past where we got last time and I guess we're going to be able to see some of those dinosaurs, which is going to be amazingly awesome. So we're going to get into this. So no controller detected. It is playable with a keyboard, but it's strongly recommended that you play with a controller. Dang it. Okay guys, I got my nifty controller all plugged in because everything is starting off bad. So we're just going to start off with a new game. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. This is like my first... Uh oh. What happened? Did the game crash? Alright guys, I don't know what happened. My... Why is it... Am I like shifted over? Alright, well, we're gonna scoot over to the left. <laughs> to make this more realistic. 2033 CE. Okay guys, I finally got this thing going. I'm actually sitting in the right spot. Everything feels real now. And I've got like a Mega Man arm or Samus arm. To provide visual confirmation. Okay. Alright, so we're, I guess, calibrating this. Whoops, sorry. Good lord. Matrix activated. Matrix activated. Sensor array. Look left Whoa. and scan the interface to provide visual confirmation. Boop. Sorry. You have to be so picky. But yeah, guys, we're going to be playing Time Machine. Um, this first episode will probably be um, just to kind of get it going. Uh oh, where are we going? Um, we're going to basically do what we did in the first one. Oh my gosh, that is trippy to look at. Contrary to popular belief, time travel is neither instantaneous nor beautiful. <laughs> it's not even beautiful. the shutters you would likely be driven insane by what you saw outside. I am sure I would, dude. this time to review the mission briefing. Our primary research target for this excursion... See, that's what we scan in the demo, so we know what to do to until we get to that. That thing is huge, and it really is that big. The lead sixthis was the largest bony fish to have ever lived. Fossils suggest it that is have so awesome. of 27 meters. Rivaling blue whales in size. Guys, did I ever tell you that I love VR? I love that I can turn my head in real life. Whales, it's hypothesized and it's there, man. Specialized gill rakers to filter feed. We'll need to collect data from inside the mouth of the lead sickness to validate this theory. Are we there yet? Your navigation skills are up to par. Welcome to the Jurassic period. Oh, Prepare we're in the to Jurassic see some amazing creatures. But we're not on vacation. Let's get to work. <laughs> when you're ready, focus your view oh, we're slowing on the down. controls. I'll lower them and we can begin. Oh snap, Use man. The left thumbstick to move your pod forward. I forgot how good this game really is. Da, 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 da. I, I don't what's an underwater theme that's like do, 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 do. The pod is equipped with a time dilation device. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we I hit a turtle time. Give it a try. Freeze time. I How do I freeze time? It's going to see a lot of use. Bill. No. Why is that not freezing? Oh, that's trigger. And as we see here, a school of sea turtles. A group of prehistoric turtles. Their appearance is quite different from that of their it's modern so relatives. Cool. Why don't you tag one with a probe so we can get a closer look at its physiology? Uh, so that's the probe. According to these readings, they're Solnhofia. Proto-sea turtles, if you will. Ah! 
curious. <laughs> what the you seem to prefer swimming <laughs> in a tight group. Go ahead and tag. <laughs> I just had a turtle attack my face. Perhaps the additional information will help us interpret their behavior. Do this thing does this thing have a health bar? Now try launching a tracker. It will detect any nearby creatures. Don't worry about contamination. The trackers are designed to degrade. Can I move? Quickly. I can move. Tracker is LV. Oh. The Solnhofia are displaying signs of agitation. What the freak? That could indicate a predator approaching. A Pliosaurus. Yeah, is that the most thing. Likely predator. Look at Perhaps that thing over there. They gather here in the hopes of avoiding being eaten. Yeah. Avoid being eating, avoid being me being eaten. Oh my gosh, are you gonna eat me? The Pliosaurus is one creature you definitely don't I want, want to turn around. To antagonize. I've marked an escape path. Just in case, of course. Safety protocols. Oh, oh I'm hitting the wall. Oh, the oh, I'm getting area. Ooh, I'm getting seasick. As possible. Oh, it ate one! Uh-oh. 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 Oh, freak. Oh, freak, no. No, 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 no. Oh, get out of here. Ah, where's it at? Get out of here. Where'd it go? Is this even the right way? Is it behind me? I don't want to know if it's behind me. I kind of want to turn around proceeding there. further. Let's take this opportunity to calibrate yeah, it's still back there. other scanners. Ah! Open the scanner menu and look at the scan icon. Scan. Calibrations completed. The scanners always need calibrating. Is that supposed to be a joke? Whoops. There it Here is. we go, guys. The lead sick this. It really does dwarf every other fish on record. I'm Man, sure it does. Now for the tricky part. Scan inside mouth. Venture into its open mouth to scan its gill rakers. Careful though, it will bite. Oh, I'm sure it will bite, but I want to slow down timing. Just going in, guys. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. Okay. I'm sorry. So we're slowing down time so we can scan the inside of this thing. Uh, apparently I can't even look around. Was that it? Marvelous performance. What is going on with that? You've exceeded all our predictions. I don't think that Terminal Predator was in the last simulation one. program. Please hold. Oh well, I guess we're just teleporting. Yeah, I guess we're just good. Me out of here! <laughs> I guess we're just like teleporting out of the fish's mouth. Uh oh, we're going. Everything went dark. I think I said that last time. <laughs> Hello. And as we see, Shane, panic, dude. I bet someone if they were like claustrophobic, they could not do VR. Maybe. I don't know. Because right now I'm just sitting and all I see is black. I mean, I guess it's loading. Is it still loading? Welcome oh, to here the we go. Museo Temporal Research oh, Facility. This is all new! Solbart. I think the doctor is going to be very pleased. Oh, transmission incoming. You'll want to pay close attention to this one. Okay, guys, let's so listen. exciting. I love new beginnings. Can I move? Oh, that's her. Welcome back to Mondo Museo. I can't hear you. I hope you enjoyed your first dive into history. Wow. I'm Elizabeth Lacroix. You have proved your ability to withstand time travel. Is she Russian? You've earned your place among the cadets of the Mondo Museum International Research Mission. Sweet. Stationed worldwide, 
Cadets explore and collect vital data to ensure the preservation of Earth's natural inheritance. Man, the frame rate is just going to crud right now. You are stationed in Svalbard, Norway. This remote Arctic island. Yeah, this whole thing right here is slowing the game down. Like that thrive as much as 3.2 billion years ago. Swal Swalbard. Oh my gosh, dude, am I gonna have to like run away from these things? This thing looks so cool. I literally just tried to touch that. <laughs> I wanted to touch it and I hit my hand on the desk. Oh, I hate that it doesn't track me outside of this. Your robotic research assistant is standing Let's go! With your first assignment. I wonder how long this game is. These are the questions I ask myself. Such an honor to work with Dr. Lacroix. Can I move? Oh, I, here we go. My name Take is off. Rico, by the way. Uh, but please, you call me Rob. Any questions? No? Good. Nope. I'm out of then here, dude. we can review your first official mission briefing. Oh, Anytime we're supposed to go over you're here? ready. The pod you're controlling has been designed to withstand the stresses of temporal relocation and keep you safe from oh, harm during your go. travels. Once docking is complete, the portal will transport us. Oh, this is a portal. All systems are now online. Oh, I skipped whatever you were saying. Prepare for temporal relocation in three, three two, two, one. one. <laughs> Just like pass out. Oh, oh. Dude, can you imagine if portals were like, if we create a portal? Oh, that is trippy. Oh, I feel like the sun should be moving. The sun should definitely move. Oh, man. Here we go. Is the landscape changing? No, it's just like moving through time. Are we going somewhere? Oh, okay. Well, now we're filled with water. Is this what's supposed to happen? <laughs> I love a little shimmy shimmy. A little shaking. And now we're in black screen again. One eternity later. And we're back. <laughs> so what is the zero percent? That's a new thing. Let's have a look at your first official assignment. Our primary research target for this excursion is the Pliosaurus. Is it that thing that we ate? They tried to eat me last time? Lizard. More lizard than what, I wonder? As far as we know, the Pliosaurus was one of the top predators of its time. Yeah, that's the thing that tried the to eat me. Alone and few other creatures could Dude, it is much scalier than that. have hypothesized that they cruised around like modern-day crocodiles, looking for opportunities to attack with their powerful jaws. Our mission is to locate a Pliosaurus while it's hunting, to validate this Dude, theory. why don't we just take that scanner last I time? Recommend proceeding with this thing is circling me! Of caution. Teleport complete. When you're ready, focus your view on the shutter controls. Oh, I am so ready for this. I guess that that's Once its way of like recalibrating the uh, the uh, the center of where I'm looking at. So that looks cool, dude. Isn't that it right Those there? Do look like powerful Find predators. safe area. Take care. They seem to be patrolling the area. You must avoid detection at all costs. All right. Well, let's go down. We don't want to become the object of their hunt. Those boulders in the center seem like an ideal hiding place. Make your way there to confirm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what the freak? That's so cool. As my vocabulary often states. Alright, man, we're gonna chill out. Where's it at? Oh! I seen it! Be very, very sneaky. Excellent. Now we can continue our mission without constant fear of attack. Tag the more aggressive one so we can get a better uh, idea how do I tag? of what R? we're dealing with here. 
Oh. Whoops, sorry. Holy cow, there's a lot of fish here. Punk. Wait, how do I... Uh... Probe? Punk. Punk. <laughs> Hypothesis confirmed. It's definitely a pliosaurus. It's definitely a pliosaurus. It is strange that two pliosauruses would choose to stay in such close proximity to each other. Most apex predators are notoriously territorial. Is it possible they're sharing a hunting ground? Oh, that's the other tag one. Tag the other and see if it sheds any light on the matter. So I want you to tag that one now. Whoa, that's, that's disorienting. Punk. Oh, no, 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 no. Punk. I love that sound. Punk. Punk. There it goes. One of the pliosauruses is male, and the other is female. Oh, it's level progression. Perhaps we found a meeting pair. Oh my gosh, are, are they so, going to do it? expect them to be on the hunt for additional food. One theory suggests they use their eyes as their primary method of tracking prey. An eye scan would seem like a logical place to begin our investigation. A pliosaurus's eye. I'm supposed. I'm supposed to scan its eye. Where was that other one? Punk. Where did the other one go? There's that one. Oh, there it is. How do I get over there? Oh, it's right there. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna slow down time. <gasps> I can only slow down time for so long! Oh my gosh. This is creepy. Holy S. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, get out of there. <laughs> no. <laughs> it ate me. Dang it. Oh my gosh, I almost got the eye. Okay, okay, we're going in. No, come back. Oh my gosh, that is trippy scary. The theory appears <laughs> to be what the eye of the Pliosaurus is highly developed, though they would perform poorly in low light situations. No, Let's no, do our best JK, to this. out of sight. Let's take a moment to examine the anatomy of the female Pliosaurus. Oh my if gosh, that was a weird. Pair, I would expect her to be carrying several eggs inside. Wasn't this one the female one? echography scanner to gain some insight. Echography scanner? The Pliosaurus's eggs. Was it this one again? Oh. Where'd it go? Oh, okay. Oh, what is that? That's kind of like a zebra shark looking thing. Alright. I guess I'm gonna try and get up close to this? That's supposed to... S <gasps> No! Where's its eggs? It doesn't have eggs! This is the male! Oh no! It is not happy. Alright, alright, we're gonna go. Go faster! <laughs> this thing is so slow! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. 
We're good. We're good. We're okay. We're okay. We're gonna slow down time a little bit more. And we're gonna go hide in here. And we're gonna go find you. Alright, so are you the female? Player sources eggs. Wait, does it like hatch eggs somewhere? Oh, I don't think this is it. This is not it. This is a negatory. Dive, dive, dive. Oh no. Oh my gosh, look at that. This thing just got wrecked. Oh, here we go. I couldn't get this thing to work earlier. Oh my, this is extraordinary. The Pliosaurus is pregnant and carrying a fetus, which means oh, crud. they gave oh, live oh, crud. Back up. Down, Elizabeth down. is going to be so excited when she sees this. No, don't eat me, don't eat me! There is no doubt here hunting the smaller creatures. I've detected them. Oh, Let's head down here. to see what creatures the Pliosauruses find so appetizing. Tag three so that we can identify them with Tag certainty. Tag three. Pro. I thought this was the hole. This is not the hole. Pull. Pull. Oh, these aren't like. Ah, got one. Where are you going? <laughs> got that one. And I got you. Oh, nope. Now I got you. Why do they go up? They seem to <gasps> oh my gosh, she ate him. Despite being so far down, scan an Ophthalmosaurus's eyes. Perhaps they are well adapted to see in dim light. Uh, scan. Alright, let's, let's scan your eyeball. <laughs> this thing looks creepy. It's got like a little mouth. Sorry, stay still. Their eyes are in Look at that. Oh gosh, it's transforming. Database, <laughs> they have one of the largest eyes of any Look at creature that. proportionally. And each eye contains a set of bones, <laughs> the sclerotic ring. Common in today's birds, though these are considerably larger. That is not a bird. And how deep they can dive. It will give us a good idea of so whether the bones sit. are used to help maintain the shape of their eyes or serve some other purpose. An echography scan of its lungs should give us a sense An of how low Is that they the echo go. thing? Oh, I guess... Oh, that's what that thing means. Okay. Hey, hey you, come here. Where are your lungs? Oh, there are your lungs. But, come on. According to my calculations, they should be capable of dives of over 20 minutes. Well, that is just creepy when the thing years. is going and it like turns in the last second. I would be of great concern. The pressure at those depths I think it's one more thing to do for this stage. See, that is weird. To. I'm not detecting any other life forms in the vicinity. Are the Pliosauruses really hunting the Ophthalmosauruses? Don't know. Where, where did he go? They seem unable to descend to this depth. Tag an Ophthalmosaurus with a probe to force it to surface. I've made temporary modifications to your probes that allow them to gather metabolic information from inside the Pliosaurus, should one be consumed. Okay, and Orphanomenosaurus. Alright, so there's the big guy. Oh, there's the other big guy, so... Pum. All right, so let's go up and actually watch this. No, 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 don't eat me. Don't eat me. What did I just say? Where'd he go? No, eat him. Where did he go? Oh, there it is. 
Wait, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to scan him? Excellent. Oh, how very lucky. The Pliosaurus kindly avoided crashing uh -oh. the probe while the no. Pliosaurus. No. Bad Pliosaurus. These events will allow us to gather valuable data on the Pliosaurus metabolism. Use an echography scan on the Pliosaurus to locate the probe. And I'll download Oh my gosh, so now I gotta go up there and so scan far. that thing? Okay. We gotta go find this probe. What's by the end of this thing? These two are like gonna mate. I'm gonna have to make this thing like X rated. Surely it's like in the center of your stomach. There you are. I have located it. From the data gathered. I've calculated that the Pliosaurus has a high metabolism. It also oh, maintains oh, a core temperature higher than that of the surrounding water. Die, die, die. I estimate a difference of approximately 10 degrees Celsius. There's so much more to discover here. Okay. It, it's not going to get me. Gather needs to be Am I still looking the right way? And analyzed. Yeah. Please scan the portal to initiate the transport sequence. Where is the portal? Are they over here? Where's the portal? Exit portal. Um, so we're gonna scan. Oh, here we go. Oh wait, am I supposed to like go that way? It doesn't matter. Guys, we did the first level, man. We're coming in hot. <laughs> That's trippy looking. Okay. Our systems are now online and operational. Oh, Prepare God, for temporary location in three, two, one. Here we go. Dude, this thing is awesome. Follow the same one. Follow the same one. I'm losing it. <laughs> Are we going to do the thingy? It's like a rocket. Are we going back to... So we're at 140... Maybe that's where we're going. Everything's going dark again! Is that the end of it? Maybe? <sighs> Low times suck on this game. Cause I'm sitting here like. Whoa, that was blinding. Rob, a moment of your time, please. Uh oh. I apologize if I'm interrupting training. Oh, uh, Liz. Uh, I mean, Doctor. Uh, so sorry. How? Did I do something just... wrong? I'm still waiting on the results from Ali's mission. He called in sick again. Sick? I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to have to deal with it uh, personally. No need to worry. He's probably just a little burnt out. We've been pushing the section leaders hard. I need those results. Could you take the cadet out to retrieve the data, please? But doctor, Ali's mission is delicate. This cadet is still new. I worry. I know you worry, Rob. I still need you. Dude, to always do wanted a monitor like that. That would be so uh, cool. It's an order. Yes. Very well. What an excellent opportunity to advance, cadet. Oh snap! Promotion on day one. With the lag, we'll pick up. Back. <laughs> I estimate a few weeks on your end. Good. Go. Now. Yes, Doctor. She seemed mad. I hope you can appreciate how unusual this is. Let's the Doctor go. rarely communicates Let's with cadets. Normally, you should have months of training before... Uh, uh, where were we? You should familiarize yourself with the Dino Dex. 
It's where we save all the data we gather. You can also peruse the Dino Dex to Is learn the more there? about the creatures that we've encountered. Okay. Well, this is a good stopping point. I guess each one of these, like, little circles is going to be the different levels. And it looks like there might be six levels, uh, including the one we just did. So this is going to be a pretty cool series to go through. Um, so you've been watching Time Machine VR. My name is Shane for Games. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep on playing. Oh, <laughs>